The increase in safety for modern fuel storage systems is due in large part to the excellent monitoring equipment, VitaRoot being the leading example. These systems are an important part of the fire safety requirements, so they get a lot of attention from the local fire marshals. Level transmitters are provided for each bulk tank. The level transmitter may integrate directly into a PLC-based fuel system controller for above-ground tanks. For underground tanks, to meet state and federal rules, a tank monitor, such as a Vita route, is typically used for tank level and leak detection. Leak sensors for tanks, piping, and sumps are integrated either directly into the fuel system PLC controller or the tank monitoring panel. Level transmitters are provided for each bulk storage tank to provide volume, temperature, compensated volume, level in inches, and water accumulation alarms at the bottom of the tank. The level transmitter and controller are used to provide calculated fuel alarm levels, such as high warning at 85 to 90 percent, high alarm at 90 to 95 percent, reorder level at 50 to 75 percent, and low level at 10 to 25 percent. Leak detection is provided for A, tank interstitial spaces, B, tank sumps and underground piping terminations, C, piping transition sumps, D, double wall pipe in buildings, and E, pump and filter enclosures. Vita Root and other tank management panels have optional electronic line leak detectors. The test operates while the system is not otherwise in use to start the submersible pumps momentarily and build pressure in the line. A pressure transducer in the pipeline measures any pressure loss that would indicate a leak. Recent regulations in California have required a positive means of assuring containment rather than the passive low point sensor method. The vacuum method generates a vacuum within the pipe interstitial space and measures the vacuum decay rate to determine integrity. The vacuum may be generated by a submersible pump adapter or by a dedicated vacuum pump. 